Hello everyone. Today we're going to use uh, LED strips to, to light up cabooses and passenger cars. So I got this very nice uh, lifelike lidded caboose. So these are uh, Proto 2000. This actually works very well. It's got all eight wheel pickup. It's awesome. I really like it. However, it doesn't light uh, bright enough because I don't use a lot of power on the track. This is why I got the idea to use these LED strips. Uh, you've seen them for sale. These are pretty affordable. They're LED strips you can buy. You can buy them off eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, you know the guys. You know those sellers. And they include, ask for a 12 volt. So they include the resistors also. So that's for a 12 volt. And they're all done in sections of three. And they all have a place where you can solder your leads. So I think for the length of my caboose, could probably fit five LEDs. Now LEDs, they're directional, which means that they will only light up when the caboose is going one direction. So I have to put a second strip for the other direction, but that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I have to do. That's what I'm gonna do. So also, I cannot take full credit for that. This is an old uh, N-Scale MU car that I got a couple of years ago. This was part of a lot of uh, non-runners, but it's a Kado, so it turns out it runs very well. I don't know if you can tell, but this is old. So the guy took that, took exactly that, uh, an old uh, LED strip, and he stuck that in there. That works wonderfully. It's actually a really, really good idea. So let's get to work on that. So first part is removing the shell. It's not, uh, not easy to remove these shells, and I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to take my time. You also have, if you have one of these, you probably know, you have to hold the door open a little bit as you pull the shell so that it's cool but at the same time it's extra things to think about i got it to move i'm going very very slowly i do not want to mess this up i really like this caboose once you get past this point uh, it gets really easy there so far so good you can see the wiring it's quite evident so that just goes up to the light up here like i say this worked very well it's just not bright enough so here you have access to your leads and the little light bulb so i'm gonna desolder that and also you have to be mindful that the um the chimney is going to come in and sit here so that too I have to be I have to make a decision on that maybe I'll chop the chimney and just glue it there I think that's going to solve my issue as a general rule I don't like wrecking something that works so well but you know it's progress turns out that you can't have five if you cut the strip in the middle there they stop working, so it has to be uh, multiples of three. At any rate, a little bit of theory for you guys. LEDs are always directional lighting. So if you put just one strip, gotta have the correct polarity, but if you put just one strip, it will only light up uh, one direction. So if you want to have both directions, you get to add a second strip for the second direction. So that's what I've done. I've got uh, two strips. So I have to wire one for one direction and then the other for the other direction. So that one is going to do the other direction. That's 
one direction and that's the other direction. Come on, you can do it. So I have to wire them like that. Turns out the chimney was just glued uh, to the roof. It wasn't glued in on there very tight, so it was easy to get off. I picked up these wires from the dollar store and they turned out to be great. I really like them. So I'm gonna prepare some wires for um, connecting my LED strips. Now I'm just gonna connect my two wires with the uh, with the track pickup now the polarity is very arbitrary here because uh, it's going to switch directions anyways since we are in a moving vehicle i am going to want to test it making sure my connection is good. Because it's moving, it's gonna get shaken a lot. So you wanna make sure that it's good. You see how there's a little plus and a little minus? So on one strip, I'm gonna use the red as the plus and the black as the minus. And the other strip, I'm gonna do the opposite. Okay, still pretty crude, but I've got it working so that if I go one direction, I got one set of lights working. If I go the other direction, I got the other set of lights working. Now all I gotta do is fold all that wiring neatly inside so I can have the lights uh, hidden from view. Still looking pretty crude, but fortunately on this particular caboose, the uh, cupola is very easy to take out. So that's gonna help me to place my, uh, my strips exactly where I want them. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. And then the reverse. I like it. Now I can put my little cupola back on. So if you want to do this to a passenger car, it's the exact same thing. In the passenger car, you might choose to have just one strip and then run that car only on one direction. I put all the little handrails back. So this is one direction and this is the other direction. Perfect. And now it's time to run some trains. Well, I'll tell you, this will challenge uh, how good your trucks are if they're clean. And uh, I added a whole bunch of new stuff to my website this week. It's uh, watchtrainsnow.com. Come and have a look. Yeah, that lights up pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly have fun making it for you. See you soon.